the rest of the story. Cody Williford of Gainesville, Texas, had a car back over him at the age of 18 months. He survived, but paralyzed. I mean from his heels to his head, utterly, permanently paralyzed. And yet as Cody grew up in this world of total physical confinement, his imagination refused to be restrained. And the one thing he thought about most was cowboys. Now that's not unusual for a Texas youngster, but Cody's interest became an obsession. And as he matured, he continued to read and to dream about cowboys. For 16 years, he satisfied his yearning to ride tall in the saddle through books and dreams. But, well, this is the rest of the story. One day, a fellow named Billy Joe Henson heard about young Cody. Now, Billy Joe had been a Brown County cowboy all of his life and a saddle maker for part of it. He understood those boyhood dreams about as well as anybody could. So Billy Joe grew determined to make Cody's dream come true. He mentioned it to friends. They said it was impossible. The extent of that teenager's handicap made riding a horse out of the question. It would take a magic saddle, somebody said to carry a paralyzed boy. Well then, if any old cowboy could make a magic saddle, saddle maker Billy Joe Hansen could, and he would try. Though weak from recent heart surgery, Billy Joe went to his workshop and he looked at his tools and raw materials. He started figuring there'd never been a saddle like this one before. So Billy Joe would have to ponder what it would take to satisfy Cody's very special requirements. First off, the saddle would have to sit sideways, and it would need a high back on it, something Cody could lean against and be secured to. A padded seat, of course. No saddle horn. Straps to hold in and hold upright. A young rider who could not sit upright, unaided. Well, the saddle has been completed. It has been presented to 16-year-old Cody Williford. And what do you know? This young horse lover who cannot walk, nor even talk, nor even chew his own food, is riding tall in the saddle as he had always dreamed. And as he plans to do a very short while from right now, in Gainesville's 4th of July parade. The miracle is owed to a has-been cowboy who still remembers the thrill of mounting his horse and riding off into the sunrise or the sunset, a local saddle maker named Billy Joe Henson, who once in his life managed to create a magic saddle for a compadre he had never met. And one thing more, Billy Joe will not be there for the 4th of July parade to share Cody's victory. I said Cody would be riding in the 4th of July parade, but Billy Joe can't be there. For you see, Billy Joe Henson knows personally, intimately, what hopeless confinement means. For the maker of the magic saddle is a lifetime inmate of Texas State Prison. And now you know the rest of the story.